And welcome to this video tutorial on uh, Sculptress Alpha 6. And what we're going to do, uh, this uh, video assumes that you already have some working knowledge of Sculptress. Uh, what we're going to do in this video tutorial is I'm going to show you how to use your reduce brush to optimize your mesh more. Uh, to take down your uh, triangle count um, to and then export it into your 3D application for retopology. Okay, currently in this uh, in this mesh we have 118,000 triangles. Um, I primarily use a hexagon 2.5 for uh, my modeling application and uh, 118,000 triangles sometimes can uh, tax hexagon pretty good um, but no matter what uh, uh, application you use for uh, retopology uh, most generally uh, lower poly count or triangle count can uh, definitely improve um, working uh, with a high poly mesh um, so anyway um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my reduce brush um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my wireframe here you can uh, use the um, W key to uh, turn on your wireframe and uh, if you look you can see that around the lips, around the nose, around the eyes uh, is the most dense area of the mesh so I'm going to focus on uh, reducing uh, those areas down first and I generally like to uh, um, go in and out of uh, the wire display so that I can keep an eye on uh, the definition of my mesh. Uh, I'm not real good at sculpting yet um, and this is part of the learning process and I just wanted to uh, share this with you. Um, we have 118,000 triangles here or, or right around that so let's go ahead and uh, make sure you uh, choose your reduce brush. You can uh, click click up here um, to uh, turn that on or you can also use the uh, I believe it is the Y key to toggle that on and off so I'm going to toggle out a wire uh, display and I'm just going to begin to click around this high concentration uh, or where the uh, mesh is very dense and I'm going to keep an eye on my uh, the definition in my um, mesh to make sure I don't lose anything I want. Also, um, some areas of the mesh will be kind of uh, not really smooth and uh, everything. And using the reduce brush can really help to smooth out an area of the mesh so remember that while you're uh, uh, beginning to sculpt if you have a pinched area or something that doesn't look quite right if you've got a, a dense mesh area you can use your reduce brush to smooth that out uh, we are down to 98,000 triangles now so I think we're going to work on this cheek area next and if you will as you go along you can keep an eye on, on uh, your triangle count and just continue to reduce that but remember to toggle in and out of uh, your wire display uh, kind of focus in on those highly concentrated areas and and before you know it uh, your uh, poly count or triangle count will be down significantly and just keep an eye on the definition in your mesh um, so that you don't 
uh, lose some definition that you want to keep. Uh, let's go ahead and focus in here on uh, these lips. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of my brush and tab out of the wireframe display. And just continue to work and just continuously reduce okay well, really high count here and you can see those triangles really being taken down quite a bit we're down to about uh, 72,000 now and we haven't really lost much definition at all. Sculptors is a really neat little application, especially if you can't afford ZBrush. Um, and I would be one of those guys who can't afford ZBrush. I'd love to have it. Um, and hopefully I'll get decent at sculpting using sculptors and then we'll be able to at some point be able to go ahead and purchase a brush unless of course one of the viewers want to go ahead and just donate the money to me that'd be great not asking for that but just thought I'd throw that in there okay we're down to about six hundred and or um, 61,000 uh, triangle count now. I generally like uh, to get down to probably about 25, 30, probably acceptable. Uh, after I do uh, this video, I think I'll go ahead and do another one and, and take this mesh into uh, hexagon and set it up for retopology. And don't forget to toggle in and out of your uh, wire display and just continue to work around on your mesh and, and reduce that poly count. I think we're going to crank up our uh, brush size here because we've, we've got a huge dense area here. And as you can see, we're not losing a lot of detail there, but our poly count just dropped quite a bit. Down to about... Uh, forty nine thousand, and uh, if you if you, you can tell by looking at uh, this mesh that I'm not exactly uh, really good at sculpting yet. As far as uh, I have a lot of anatomy study to do. Down to about forty four thousand eight hundred now, which is really nice. Let's see, let's zoom in here and get around these eyes. I'm going to go ahead and change my brush size down to pretty small. Turn my wire display back off again. Let's see, I think uh, around the mouth is probably a good area to work on. Just remember, keep an eye on your uh, the details that you do not want to lose.
Oops, kind of meaning to go back into draw. I'm going to hold shift key. I'm going to try to smooth this back out a little bit here. Or you can just work back and forth between the reduce brush and you may need to go back in there and smooth some things out. Okay, we're down to about, uh, let's see here, I believe it's 41,000 count now. I think uh, we've got a high concentration in here around the mouth. Detail that I want is still there. So I hope I'm not boring you to death here. Let's see, we're down to about 38,000. Six, thirty-five. I think we could uh, get around here around the aisle a little bit more there maybe in this little corner here um, Go ahead and change my brush size and just kind of work right in here. Remember, you can always, uh, if you lose some definition, uh, go ahead and turn your draw brush on and add it back in there and then just kind of work back and forth uh, on your. Uh, definition but uh, anyway we start out with 118,000 uh, uh, triangles and we've reduced it down to 32,814 and that is really nice uh, well I guess that's about it for this video tutorial and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on taking this mesh into um, hexagon and setting it up for retopology and I hope it didn't bore you to death and I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial uh, there will be more sculptors tutorials coming so if you'd like to uh, be informed of when there's another tutorial up uh, be sure to subscribe uh, have a great day and thank you for watching